Now, at last, the great unveiling. Maurizio Sarri finally presented as a Juventus manager today. The uh, contractually uh, obliged uh, appearance of Pavel Nedved into, uh, into the shot there. Sarri who signed a three-year deal. But now questions on Jorginho. Is Chelsea midfielder being linked with a link-up with Sarri? João Santos' his agent saying, we'll wait a few days to figure out whether there is any truth in this interest mentioned in the papers. Right now, he's happy at Chelsea. He found a great atmosphere. and We can't really say he'd like to go elsewhere. But anything can happen in the transfer market. We will wait and see. A pretty non-committal from Jorginho's agent. He's only one year into a five-year deal with Chelsea. Any chance this happens, Gab, and he goes to Turin? By the way, that is wonderful agent speak. It's exactly <laughs> what I would want my agent to say. Mm. Um, I, I think, you know, with the transfer ban in place, Chelsea have an issue with, with bodies in, in midfield, right? Uh, because obviously Kovacic is going to go back to Real Madrid after his loan. Loftus Cheek is out for a long, long time. Uh, you've got Conte, you've got Barkley, you've got Jorginho. Maybe they can bring Mason Mount back or Bakayoko or, or or whatever. But you know the reality is, I think they need they need Jorginho in the big. So I, I don't see a chance of this. And I think Juventus also are their um, inclination is to hand the keys of the midfield to Pjanic. Let's bring in Stuart Robson for the first time today. How are you doing, Robbo? I want to get your take just on the bigger picture of what's going on at Chelsea with Sarri gone and very potentially yeah. Frank Lampard coming in. You can weigh in on Jorginho too. Just give us your assessment of uh, happenings in West London. Well, I think Sarri, come the end of it, although he wasn't liked by the fans, did a fairly good job, but he was always his wish, I think, to go back into Italy. I don't think he was particularly happy with the way the fans treated him. And Frank Lampard's a, a difficult one because every other Derby manager over the last few years has been sacked, be, be, uh, perceived as a failure for not getting promotion. The difference with Frank Lampard is that he's a media darling. Everybody seems to want him to be the next Chelsea manager. And he didn't have quite the money to spend that previous Derby managers had. So him going back to Chelsea, he's going to be loved by the fans. He's going to be given that little bit of extra time. He did work with the young players at Derby, and that's probably what Chelsea are looking at. Some of those players might go back to Chelsea. So he showed that he could coach young players. He could develop them. And that's what he might have to do with this transfer ban. Mm. Paul. Frank Lampard, is it, yeah. is it the right move for Chelsea well, to go in his direction? With, with the state that Chelsea are in with the transfer ban, then it's probably going to be that type of a move. Yes, is it risky? Yes, it is. And I think exactly for the same reasons that, that Robbo says, I think... Do, that... do, do you like it, in essence? Is it, is it the right thing for Chelsea to do? It it's, goes so much against the grain of how they've done previous... It, if, I'm, if I'm perfectly honest, I think it's a massive risk. And, and I, yeah. think, I think under... Under different circumstances, they would have gone elsewhere. But I think, mm. you know, everybody needs a chance. Who knows? He may be able to pull it off. He may be able to work with the young kids, get the young kids. He was a fantastic midfield player himself. You know, he's, has he got good management skills? He's going to have to have that. But this is a bigger ask than, uh, than Derby County going to Chelsea.